time in high school football, just a few games remaining in the regular season. Teams around the Central Coast trying to set themselves up for a league title and possibly a run at the playoffs. In Salinas, Palma hosting the Seaside Spartans. There go our footballs. Palma on offense, Grant Sargent, Sergeant Grant, linking up with Dominic Scatini, breaks a tackle. Nice little gain there, that's a first down. Next play, Anthony Viegas finds the big hole from the offensive line, takes it in for a Palma touchdown. Now Seaside on offense, Daniel Sayer holding on to this one, cutting it left, going about 15 yards downfield. That kid is an athlete. Plays safety too, and he's good at it. Back to Palma, the handoff to Viegas. Bounces outside, gives one guy a spin move. Another big gain for the Chieftains. Doing well on the ground, same drive. Viegas finding the end zone once again. Palma coming back in this game. They end up winning it 31 to 23. Up in Watsonville, the Alisal Trojans securing a playoff spot with their win over Pajaro Valley. Eight yard line, Thomas Martinez bouncing off of people. Or people bouncing off of him, I don't know how that works. Alice Al gets into the end zone. Nice little run there for the Trojans. The Grizzlies will take over on offense near midfield. Alice Al with the defensive highlight. That is Ruben Guzman with the interception. And check out the return. Huge. Trojans on the pick six. They go on to win big 43-0. That clinches a playoff spot. They are now in a race with Gilroy for the league title. Over to Gilroy, Christopher High hosting Watsonville, Ben Sanford for the Cougars. Throwing it up to Jacob Scrigoni. He's got his man beat and he's got a touchdown for Christopher. Christopher has one of the area's most explosive offenses. Here's Sanford again to Scrigioni. Check out this catch. Muscles it, pulls it down. We saw Julio Jones do this last week, I think. Just stronger. Wildcats putting up some points here. Isaac Baltazar tossing it to Juan Valenzuela, walking into the end zone for Watsonville. Christopher offense though, too hot for the Wildcats. Christopher wins it 42 to 14. Back to Salinas, the perfect Salinas Cowboys taking on Alvarez. Thank you for the Eagle. I love a good mascot. Alvarez rocking the fog grays, fitting for this game near midfield, handing off to Frank Pinedo, running over one guy for the game. Then here comes Salinas, Brett Reed handing it off to Kelly McDermott. Off tackle and up the sidelines. Nice game there, taking them down to the Salinas 40. A little bit of breathing room. Brett Reed, I don't know how you saw through all of this, but he did find Jeffrey Weimer in the haze. Weimer leaping into the end zone. Another big pass from Reed. He must be able to see better than I can. Fitting it in for Richie Serta in traffic. That was on a rope. And Reed is picking this defense apart. Here's another one to McDermott. Doesn't have to launch himself across the goal line for this one. Another touchdown. Cowboys win 21-0. Salinas undefeated heading into their final game of the regular season. It'll be their toughest opponent yet, Aptos. The Hay Baylors facing off with North Salinas in Hollister. There are the Hay Baylors. Hollister kicking off. I don't know if this was an onside attempt or just a short kick, but Daniel Simo taking advantage of it for the Vikings. Up the left-hand side of the field, 40-yard return into Hollis territory. But the defense gets it right back for him. Isaiah Rivera diving with the clutch interception to give the ball back to the Hay Balers. They set up on offense, run play. Steven Navarro runs into the pack, somehow comes out the other side, taking it down to about the 10-yard line, so knocking on the door. Jonathan Gonzalez finishing it off for Hollister with the touchdown. The Hay Balers dropped 60 on North Salinas. Final score, 60 to 30. We'll be right back after a short break. Welcome back to KSBW's High School Playbook Blitz with Drea Blackwell. The undefeated Gilroy Mustangs trying to protect their number one spot in the Pacific Division. They need to get past Monterey. The Mustangs down by the water. They're the highest scoring team on the Central Coast, Gilroy is. Monterey back to punt. Gilroy can score in any way. Apparently, they fielded around the 35-yard line. Now you see him got the ball. Waiting for his blockers to set up, cutting back across the field. This is some great special teams play by the Mustangs. That is Christian Rodriguez on the return. He outruns a couple defenders down the stretch of the field. 65-yard punt return for the Mustangs. Back for a touchdown. 
All Gilroy in the fog. Brandon Weiler bursting through the haze in for the score. Great game for the Mustangs. One more for them, Joseph Barnes putting a touchdown next to his name in the box score today. A big win for the Mustangs. Like I said, they are competing with the Alisal Trojans for that top spot in the Pacific Division. Gilroy getting the victory over Monterey 36-6. The Mustangs are undefeated, and Fernando, this is your shout out. Going to the water, look at the fog here. Fortunately, Santa Cruz and Marina, they're used to it. They live in it. Mariners on the goal line. Andrew Perez dipping his shoulder, getting in for the touchdown. The ref lets us know what happened. Little later, Santa Cruz around the five. Johnny Soto fighting, driving those feet. They give him the score as well. Cardinals on the board. I want to show you this pass, though. William Leander throws up a prayer. Ernie Guevara answers. Touchdown, Marina. That was right before the half. So Marina able to put some extra points up, carry some momentum into the locker room. Marina handing Santa Cruz their first league loss of the year. Final score, 36 to 12. Shout out to the Mariners. The Mariners win their third league game of the year, tying a school record. That is awesome. The perfect Aptos Mariners going up early in this game playing against Monta Vista. They were up 36 to seven when we arrived. Monta Vista putting some points up here. Cody Paresa going in for six. Check out this formation. Just the quarterback in the center, all the blockers are on the left-hand side. They clear a path though for Daniel Riley, who pulls it in, takes it in for the touchdown. Aptos again, up big, trying to run out the clock. Here's a huge run from their beast of a running back. This is Marcos Reyes, taking it down to about the five yard line. Reyes had almost 300 yards on the ground in this game. Easy to win when that's happening with your running game. Mariners walking away with the victory, 49 to 28. Aptos playing against undefeated Salinas High next week. That is the championship game for the Gavlin Division. Going to be huge. Down at Dick Force Stadium, Gonzalez, the Spartans playing St. Francis, the Sharks Quick handoff here to Andy O'Rourke, bursting through. He goes 30 yards for the touchdown. Gonzalez going with a little play action, throwing it up way downfield. A sea of white shirts, a little tip. Aaron Soto tipping the ball to himself, getting the interception, and a great return here. Shaking a few guys out, letting the blocker set up, taking it down to the Gonzalez 40. Worked last time, do it again. Another quick handoff to O'Rourke. O'Rourke should write the textbook on how to cover up the ball, by the way. Great form. Sharks tossing it on this play to Devin McLeod. He takes it. 35-yard touchdown run for St. Francis. Gonzalez trying to put up some points. Raul Morales, the quarterback, decides, I'm just going to do this on my own. Running towards the pylon and in for the touchdown. How about one more for St. Francis, though? Carson Kuzik plowing in for the touchdown. St. Francis first place in the Coastal Division. They win. 40-27. And up in Santa Cruz County, Greenfield playing against SoCal. Looks like it was senior night there. The Knights near the red zone. Going with the direct snap. A little misdirection to Nolan Moss. Moss running hard, breaking a bunch of tackles. Managing to cross the goal line for SoCal. Greenfield looking to score here from the 17. Andy Hernandez, their quarterback, on the keeper. As the blockers in front, Caden Patterson, great block. Just want to let you know. Back and forth all night. The Knights on the Greenfield 31 give it back to Moss. This guy can run. He avoids a few defenders, taking it down to about the six. And how about we give him another touchdown? Moss in for the score. This game, an absolute shootout. Greenfield winning it 50 to 48. Some high scoring games this week. Hernandez, seven rushing touchdowns for Greenfield. That is a school record. And if you missed any of the scores or the highlights, you can find them on our website that is ksvw.com.